Okay, I'm here with Carl from Connect and he's going to give us an overview of the Connect video phone and the Connect captioning, captioning video, video phone. phone. Our product is aimed at those people who are perhaps living at home and they're either elderly or uh, got some sort of disability, be it cognitive or physical, and for whatever reason they are unable to use the telephone. So we've developed a very, very simple solution that anybody can use to do video calls and phone calls. Um, our eldest user was 107 years old and deaf as a post. The vast bulk of our customers are 97 with dementia and we have, uh, I guess, a fewer customers that are in a wheelchair situation or uh, with a cognitive disorder that are younger but for whatever reason they're unable to use their mobile phone and modern communications. It's First of all we configure it for each user and this one's set up for somebody with a very very simple and all you do to make a call is tap the name. I'll call uh, Natalie, hopefully she'll answer. Now this one's on quiet volume. Hello Natalie, I'm just talking to Nikki here who's doing a video for all of her colleagues to show them the product. But um, yeah, it's as simple as that to make a call, nice and easy, and she's answered on the standard Skype app. So all our machine does is make Skype calls or phone calls, but we've removed the need for login, there's no login, there's no password, there's no sign up, there's no updates. Connect does all of that and all the user has to do is tap a button. So let's say they can't even do that because yep. of dementia, they've forgotten. So what we'll do, if it's okay now, I'll hang up and say goodbye, thank you. Thanks, Natalie. <laughs> so, yep. so let's come over this one. What I'll do here is I'm gonna call this one. This is set up for people that are a bit more capable and it's got more buttons and more controls. But this is set up for people with hearing loss. But what I want to demonstrate to you is what happens if they can't answer. So first of all, it's nice and loud. But because I'm an authorised contact, it's going to answer without anybody touching. I'll just turn that down so we don't get feedback. So what happened here is it answered automatically, nobody had to touch anything. So oh, I'm now Carl looking here. into the yep. home and I can see what's going on, see if they're in trouble, maybe they fell over, maybe they need help, they can see my face and I can look into their home. Now this particular one also has the captions enabled. I'm sorry, it's uh, come up with wrong words because I'm standing in front of it. We'll move away a bit. <laughs> There we go, yeah. So the captions are automatic. Nobody has to And I think you were saying as well, Carl, that it can um, transcribe different languages yes. as well. The captions can be in one of 50 different languages and um, the buttons and the controls can be any language. And I think you were telling me when we were talking before that it's just a plug and play, so you configure it uh, in, yes. based on what the user wants? Yes. So we do all the setup. We will attempt to talk to the son and the daughter, um, leave you out of it, and we'll get off them, we'll get the names, we'll talk to them about their, their dementia, their health requirements, the size of the font, and uh, we'll set it all up. We build it in the office, test it, and then we ship it, and typically the son or the daughter will sell it, set it up. If they're not available, we'll work with yourself yeah. or any other friend, family, care worker in the house. Yeah. Now, what setup involves is Call Connect. That's it. They ring us, we guide them through, if you, you know, press this button, type in the Wi-Fi password, that's it. Once it's connected to internet, we can make changes remotely and if anybody needs an alteration, you can email us, call us, talk to us. We actually answer the phone, you will not be on hold for 20 minutes. Like Natalie there? Just Correct, <laughs> yeah, she's on the phone yeah. and on Skype. So yeah, we, we make it easy to make changes. And, and you're saying any change, like you were talking about, um, so if someone's you know recalling someone multiple times, you can set yeah. uh, something to stop that happening or only call between these hours or That's whatever it. you want you can configure. So yeah, I have had 
people suffering from dementia and they just, you know, they just keep calling their son. And what we do is we take the button off the screen and the son just calls in instead. Yeah. Uh, I have some customers where we have no buttons and the screen saver is set to just go blank after every call right. so that they don't have repetitive behaviour and keep hitting the buttons. But we can reword all the controls. Instead of answer reject, it can say yes, no right. in any okay. language. Or we can just remove those buttons, um, whatever the person needs. So there's lots and lots of options and I can't go through them all now. Yeah, what yeah. I'd really like to get across is We've got solutions for every aspect of dementia. Um, we've got solutions for hearing loss. That big loudspeaker and the captions are two. I've got another two or three I can talk to you about for hearing loss. We can do Bluetooth for hearing aids, for example. So we've got options for hearing loss, options for dementia, options for mobility impairment, and for people with poor vision, as you can see, it's quite large and bright. And we have a range of colour schemes to make things easy if they've got macular degeneration yeah. or other conditions. I think the take home message from talking to you earlier was there's just so many options available to give you a call and, and talk about. And that's why we do that because yeah. it's better to talk to us because there's lots of ways we yeah. can just think. Oh. And cost wise, I was thinking this was going to be super expensive. but So costs are interesting. Um, home care package will pay for the whole lot. NDIS will pay for the whole lot. DBA will pay for the whole lot. And if they don't qualify for any of those, Telstra will fund for five dollars a month the hearing loss version yeah. um, for people with a Telstra home service. Uh, yeah. As far as the cost of the package and to yeah. NDIS, it's one thousand one hundred and ninety for this one, one thousand two hundred and ninety with captions, and there is a monthly fee. The monthly fee is thirty-five for this, forty for that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's great. All right. Thank you very much for your time. I, I'm so a very interested product. Appreciate I the opportunity. It. Thanks. No worries. Thank you.